Hello and welcome to Learning with Law. This is another video that I decided to do for a VIP kid and I wanted to just run through my top 10 must-haves for teaching for VIP kid. What are the top 10 things that I must have when I am sitting down and going through my lessons? Um, there's definitely more than 10 I have to say but I narrowed it down to the top 10 most important items that you need if you're becoming a VIP teacher. So the first thing that I would have to say is definitely your uh, noise canceling headset with microphone. So for me, I just went on Amazon and I really didn't know what I was doing when I first started. I said, I just need a microphone. I need a headset with a mic so I can be hands free. I didn't do a wireless mic, um, but I kind of like that it's not wireless, so I don't have to worry about charging it. Um, and when I listen back to my voice on this microphone, I'm like, oh my goodness, I sound very radio, and I kind of like it. So I went with the Logitech USB headset. It's the H390. Don't know what that means, but that's what I have, and it's a noise-canceling microphone. So for me, I love it. It actually has this really cool... Um, remote here where you can adjust the volume. Honestly, I just like it. It has a super long cord so I can walk around the room if I need to. If I'm doing anything other than VIP kit, I have this really long cord. Doesn't bother me that I'm attached. I kind of like it. Um, the next thing that I think is super important, so number two on my list is my beautiful, beautiful external camera. That is the Logi HD 1080p. What does that mean? I don't know. I think it has something to do with the quality of the video. I am not a technological person whatsoever, but this camera is a game changer for me. I'm going to insert two pictures. The first one is going to show you what I look like with just my Mac um, desktop camera. Super low lighting. It kind of looks a little bit blurry. I mean, my makeup looks kind of nice. It looks like I have a nice little filter, but the lighting is terrible. I took the same picture with the same lighting, same time of day with my Logitech camera and this is the shot that I get. Way brighter. I have to put a lot more makeup on my face but it looks super bright. There's no shadows behind me and the quality of the picture is a million times better. So I cannot live without my external Logitech camera. The third thing that I need is my external reward regardless of what that is. It could be on an iPad. So if for you, you, you like to use your Google Slides or pictures on an iPad, you definitely need that handy. For me, my go-to external reward is my pick a number board that I created. And I'm going to link that video above just in case you want to learn how to make your pick a number external reward. Um, for me, that is something that I need to have with me every single time I do a class. My fourth must-have, can't live without prop is going to be my magnetic whiteboard. I have a couple different whiteboards. Um, I use this that I got from Dollar Tree. So this just has my name and it would have my student name on the back. I love using this because it's a quick like, my name is Teacher Lauren. What's your name? insert here. It's a really good prop to use. But I also have three different magnetic whiteboards that I use in my classroom. One, two, and three. And this one is double-sided. I like that they're magnetic. So number one, obviously, if they're whiteboards, you can write all over them and erase and use them throughout the lesson. I also um, use magnetic letters, which happens to be my number five must-have in the classroom. This I got on Amazon. It's called Joy Note Classroom Magnetic Letters. I love, love this product. Honestly, I am so glad this was the best purchase I ever made, starting with VIP Kid. There are tons of letters. There are erasers. It comes with three different markers, exclamation points, um, question marks, and like all the vowels are red. The consonants are blue and I just, it's beautiful, it's super organized and I love, love, love using this on my whiteboards. Um, so that for me is my number five must have for a VIP classroom. Number six is super cheesy. Honestly, I didn't even think it was going to work when I bought it. I went into the dollar store 
I bought a whole bunch of things, but honestly, this is a huge hit, especially with my lower level kids. Good job, high five. They love the clapper. Whenever I bring out this clapper, they lose it. They love it. So for me, this is a must have, especially with my lower level kids. Um, the next thing that I like to use in my classroom, so this is number seven, is lipstick or lip gloss of any kind. No, it is not because I want to look glam on the camera, but it is because when I am teaching, especially kids that are learning a new language, they need to look at the formation of your mouth. So when I use my lip gloss and lipstick, my mouth stands out more. So when I move closer to the screen to say, ball, yellow. They can see the formation of my mouth and it kind of pops. So yeah, it's not a vain thing that I'm doing with that. I just like to make myself a little bit more pop. <laughs> the eighth thing that I like to use in my classroom, um, and I use them constantly, are post-it notes. Post-it notes. Yes, in all different colors. So for me, I have different um, things that I do with each of the colors. And I like to stick them on my computer so that when I am teaching, I know exactly what lesson I'm doing. I know what kid, if it's a trial, if it's a major course, if it's a supplementary course, I will put the student's name, I put the time, I'll put the objectives and just stick it on my computer so I know exactly what I am going to be teaching for that particular lesson. Number nine would definitely have to be water. Yes, especially when I have classes back to back. Uh, even just talking right now, I'm getting parched. I just need a glass of water. So um, if I happen to take a sip of water behind my pick a number, I'm going to do that. I love to have water handy. Um, when I'm writing my feedback in between classes, if I need a second to just take a sip of water, I'll hide behind my puppet, whatever I got to do, but I have water handy, absolutely. That is my number nine. My number 10, how could I honestly forget this really, really important must have for VIP kid teachers? Lighting. You need to have appropriate lighting. So even though my Logitech camera gives me phenomenal lighting and really crystal clear pictures, I also need to make sure that I have perfect lighting. So I am using this from Walmart, Target, I don't even know where I got it, it was super cheap. It's a light that you can adjust different parts of it to um, fit your needs. So there's two light bulbs on it using a super bright white um, LED lights and I am also using my overhead light as well. So I have three lights going on at one time and I definitely think it makes a huge difference when I am using it whether it be night or day. I always have my three lights on at once with my Logitech camera. So there you have it. Those are my top 10 must-haves for VIP Kid teachers. Is there something that you use in your classroom that you cannot live without? Please comment below and make sure you share with us. Please make sure that you like and subscribe so that you are up to date and learning with law. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.